All right, guys, go ahead and fire up Photoshop. Let's get to work. All you're going to need at this point is a template or canvas to work with. If you are new to this channel, then I highly recommend you go check out the poster. Well, it's called the Professional Poster Template, how to create it with bleeds and the way I organize my files with type, effects, art, and a background group. But I digress. Let's get into this tutorial now. You're gonna to wanna to need a really awesome photograph. We're gonna be doing the bitmap with color overlay. And I think it's gonna look really cool with this picture. I like this expression. I like the lighting. We have some good contrast going on. And with the contrast and the lighting, the bitmap effect is gonna look really, really cool. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is try and get something like this. You can get a free image off unsplash.com usually, or do what I did and go to envato.com, get yourself a yearly subscription. It's very affordable and the, and the photography is licensable so you can use this on your projects, your graphic design or poster projects. The name of this particular picture is Stylish Rapper on something. I'll put the full description below so that you can get this if you so desire. First things first, let's get this photo cropped and sized up properly. I'm thinking something like this where it cuts off some of the head and then maybe the foot is easy to see. There we go. That should be kind of cool. Because we're doing a bitmap, it's gonna be a little more, I don't wanna say complicated, but we have to essentially flatten the layer in order to make this work. So for now, go ahead and get rid of anything, any of the layers or groups you have in your template. And from here, we can kind of play around with the contrast just a tad using the curves adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna do a quick little S curve like that. And I think that's just gonna help the bitmap out a tiny bit. And what we're gonna have to do is just flatten this really quick and turn it into a grayscale. But I'm noticing that the eyeball on him is looking a little dark. So I just wanna, before we do all this, kind of get that to pop with an exposure adjustment layer and then push up the exposure a little bit. And we're just gonna paint in that eyeball area like that. Now go to your mask and invert the mask. And then we're just gonna go back in real quick, just kind of get that to show a tiny bit better with our brush. So I'm painting with white to let some of that exposure come through like that. Looks a little scary, but you'll see that this will probably make it cooler once we get to the final stages of this composition. All right, now I'm just going to merge these layers. So select all your layer layers, right click and go all the way down to merge layers and go back up to our image drop down. go to mode, hit up grayscale, and then it's gonna say discard color information. Yes, discard, and we're good there. And now back to the image, back to mode, and now we're gonna to go to bitmap, flatten layers. Okay, we have 200 pixels per inch, and our output is about 100. And this is something that you can kind of play around with. I think the 100 is probably gonna work fine, so let's just do that. And then the halftone screen frequency, I'm just using whatever was there, hitting okay, and bam, like that, we have bitmap, which is really, really cool. But what's not cool is we can't modify anything. So you'll see this little lock over here. It's not letting us do anything. So to get over that, we go back up to mode. We can go to grayscale, size rotation one, hit okay, good to go. And now we can edit our file. And I just wanna mention, if you guys have learned anything up until this point or seen any of the other awesome tutorial videos, go ahead and hit that like button now. I really appreciate it, thanks so much. And if we're gonna bring this back into a poster template, the one that we used before, see everything's already disappeared, you might as well just pull up that template and we're gonna pull this layer back in. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick to save time in the long run. So I have our image, I'm gonna hit Command C, copy it, and then just drop it over here with Command V. And there is our awesome piece of artwork. And now I'm just going to blow it up with transform, keeping my finger down on option as I, or Command T, hold down option, and then I'm bringing this up so that it fits our canvas. And this is looking really cool. So I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see all the technique, all the bit mapping going on. And we have a decent graphic element working for us. But I wanna, I wanna have some color. So I'm also going to bring back that original photograph 
which we have here, we're going to just change the blending mode. Really easy. So you can kind of go through and see what's gonna work for you. I'm pretty sure a vivid or a pin or hard light. I think hard light's gonna be cool. So now I'm just gonna blow up this image, make sure that it's a little bit bigger than our image, our original image. Something like that. I don't want it to be on there perfect. I want it to be kind of off just to have a more of like a little bit of a movement effect. And it's just cooler than having just the color on top because I want some of that bitmap to come through anyway. And I want a little bit more to come through. So let's go ahead and add a layer mask to that color layer. And then let's paint out some areas to see if that helps the bitmap come through. And you just play around with it. It's very subtle. And then I'm gonna paint back. So I'm gonna hit X on my brush and then paint back in the face area because I want more color in the face too. Now the eyeball thing didn't really work. So let's see if we can try that again by getting that eyeball to pop a little better with an exposure adjustment. So go to your adjustment layers, go to exposure. Let's pump up that exposure and then command I on the mask, invert it, get your brush out. And then we're gonna paint with white around the eye to see if we can get that eye to show up a little better. Let's try both and then maybe add a little highlight to there. And then zoom out and see if we can see his eye. And it's looking good. It's a little too strong, so let's just paint back a little with black, real subtle. There we go. And then maybe let's move that over a tad like that. Cool. And we're gonna put all these layers in our art folder to stay organized. And then we're gonna go to our effects folder and start playing with the color. Let's go to color lookup LUTs, adjustment layer, and then let's just start to see what happens. Whoops. And we'll just start to see what happens in with some of these adjustments or LUTs. So it depends what you're going for. There we go. I like this horror blue. I like how it's working with these yellows and oranges. Looks pretty cool to me. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is maybe play with a little bit of hue or play with a little bit of saturation. So I just went to my vibrance layer and here it has, we can increase the vibrance a little bit and maybe some of the saturation to see if it does anything. Yeah, it's getting our colors to really, really pop. And you can see the before and after. So it's just a matter of your personal taste, completely subjective at this point. But I like what we've got and this has been pretty easy to execute. I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see all the bitmap and the color and a lot of funkiness going on. And the only thing we need now is maybe a little type. So let's go up to our type group. If it was a movie poster, this would be where the title, where we'd work with our title and everything. But this is more of a, I don't know, graphic design, Photoshop, photography tutorial at this point. But I feel like we need some kind of text in there. So let's just call this thing fresh because that's what it is. And then let's go ahead and switch out our type to Coolvetica, which is the cool version of Helvetica. Let's make this a little smaller. Command T, just size it down. And then let's just track it out. So hit T and then you can select your all your type and then hit option and the arrow key, hold down option and then the arrow key to the right. And that just tracks it like that. And then let's see what kind of color we can put on here. I usually just for color use an adjustment layer and then hit option command G and attach that to our typography. And that way it's just easy to go through your colors and see what is gonna work for you. I don't know, there we go. I think that's good enough for now. I think it gets the point across. I think we got a rad image. This could be work. You could use this for some album art. You could use it for a poster. You could use it for whatever graphic design project you're on, website stuff, very versatile, very easy to execute. Whatever you wanna do at this point is up to you. I'm hoping you guys learned some stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe because we got more of this coming down the pipeline. I appreciate everything.